Hi, I'm Neil Little, founder of Pro Hockey Launch, with today's tip. Today's tip is for coaches and players alike. Today we're going to talk about goalie touch breakouts. Okay, so any rim puck or dump puck where the goalie is handling the puck, okay? Our goal is a smooth transition to a flow breakout. Okay, there's a few things to keep in mind before we get started. And number one, Goalies, make sure you use your practice time efficiently. Get used to handling the puck, passing the puck, and really get used to doing both with your head up. So, take time in practice when the play's at the other end to work on these skills all the time, every day. Work on them every day. Okay, number two, for coaches, make sure you include the goalies when you're doing breakout drills. Okay, get them involved. Make sure he gets out there and he's doing the right things. But include him and he will get better. Repetition is key. And number three, communication is vital between the player and the goalie, goalie to player. Okay? Help each other out. Talk loud. Talk clear. Okay? Now let's get started. The first one we're going to just do is a regular rim puck and a D has time. Okay? So a rimmed puck, here's your D, skating back for the puck, goalie, go out the strong side, never go out the, never go around the other way here, okay? Take the shortest route to the puck, okay? Stop the puck and set it up in a proper position where your defenseman can easily handle it and get it going the other way, okay? Some of the things to keep in mind there, Are leaving that puck in a good spot okay don't leave it on the dasher okay if you can help it know which hand your defenseman is and leave it on his forehand so a left hand shot defenseman playing the left side obviously you want to leave the puck right here so he can pick it up 